Have you ever heard of Friedrich Nietzsche? He's often considered one of the most influential thinkers of the modern era. But what can his ideas do for us in our everyday lives? In this video, we'll explore five ways Nietzsche can make you a better person. Number 1. Embrace your individuality. Nietzsche believed that we should embrace our unique individuality and not conform to the expectations of society. By doing so, we can discover our own personal values and live a more fulfilling life. Number 2. Pursue your passions. Nietzsche believed that we should follow our passions and find work that aligns with our values. By doing so, we can find meaning in our lives and make a positive impact on the world. Number 3. Empower Yourself Nietzsche believed that we should take control of our lives and not be a victim of circumstance. By taking responsibility for our choices and actions, we can become more self-reliant and resilient. Number 4. Cultivate your strength. Nietzsche believed that we should cultivate physical and mental strength to overcome challenges and achieve our goals. By pushing ourselves to our limits, we can develop confidence, discipline, and resilience. Number 5. Embrace the struggle. Nietzsche believed that struggle and suffering are a necessary part of personal growth and development. By embracing the struggle and pushing through adversity, we can become stronger and more resilient. So there you have it, 5 ways Nietzsche can make you a better person. Embrace your individuality pursue your passions, empower yourself, cultivate your strength, and embrace the struggle. Beyond good and evil, the shocking truth about Nietzsche's philosophy. Welcome to our special presentation, Beyond Good and Evil, the Shocking Truth about Nietzsche's Philosophy. Today, we'll explore the controversial ideas of one of the most influential thinkers of modern times. Friedrich Nietzsche's philosophy was a radical departure from the prevailing ideas of his time. He believed that the existing values and morality were limiting human potential and preventing the creation of a higher form of life. His philosophy challenges us to think beyond good and evil and question our assumptions about morality and human nature. For Nietzsche, the will to power was the fundamental drive of human nature. He believed that individuals should strive to overcome themselves and become an ubermensch, a superior being who transcends the limitations of conventional morality. Nietzsche's critique of religion was a major aspect of his philosophy. He believed that religion was a form of weakness and resentment that sought to undermine the vitality of the human spirit. His idea of the death of God was a radical challenge to traditional values and morality. Nietzsche believed that the concept of God had become irrelevant in modern times and that individuals should create their own values and meaning in life. 
Nietzsche's ideas about the will to power and the creation of the Ubermensch were often misinterpreted and associated with fascism. However, Nietzsche himself was opposed to any form of political ideology and believed that the individual should be free to create their own values and live according to their own will to power. Nietzsche's philosophy has had a profound impact on modern culture, literature, and philosophy. His radical ideas continue to challenge and inspire us to this day. If you want to understand Nietzsche's philosophy, you have to read his books for yourself. Only then can you truly appreciate the depth and complexity of his ideas. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more. Friedrich Nietzsche, the original anti-hero. A philosopher who dared to challenge the conventional wisdom of his time and the morality of his society. His ideas were radical, his views controversial. But despite the criticisms and the controversy, his legacy endures to this day. Nietzsche rejected the traditional values of his society, including religion, morality, and social norms. He believed that these values were based on false assumptions and that they hindered human progress and creativity. Instead, he proposed a new philosophy, one that emphasized individualism, creativity, and the will to power. Nietzsche's ideas were not easy to understand, but they were profound. He argued that human beings should strive to overcome their limitations and embrace the true potential. He believed that the pursuit of truth and knowledge was the highest goal of human existence. Nietzsche was an anti-hero in the truest sense of the word. He rejected the traditional hero's journey, the idea that a person should follow a predetermined path and achieve predetermined goals. Instead, he believed that each person should forge their own path and create their own values. Nietzsche's ideas were not always easy to accept. He was critical of many of the most cherished beliefs of his society, including democracy, equality, and progress. But he believed that only by challenging these ideas could humanity make true progress. Nietzsche's philosophy was not for the faint of heart. It demanded courage, creativity, and a willingness to challenge the status quo. But for those who embraced it, it offered a way of life that was truly liberating. So, the next time you feel the pull of convention, the pressure to conform, remember Nietzsche, the original anti-hero. His ideas may be challenging, but they offer a way of life that is truly liberating. Don't forget to share the video and join the conversation about Nietzsche's ideas and their relevance today. What is the meaning of life? It's a question that has been asked by philosophers, theologians, and ordinary people for centuries. Yet, it remains a mystery to many of us. But what if I told you that one philosopher, in particular, has some answers for us? Friedrich Nietzsche, the German philosopher, had some profound insights into the search for meaning in life. He who has a why to live can bear almost any how. Nietzsche believed that finding meaning in life was essential for our well-being. He believed that when we have a sense of purpose, we can endure any hardship that comes our way. Nietzsche believed that the key to finding meaning in life was to pursue our passions and interests. When we are engaged in activities that we love, we feel a sense of fulfillment and purpose. Nietzsche also believed that finding meaning in life meant serving others. When we use our talents and skills to help others, we feel a sense of connection and purpose. Nietzsche believed that finding meaning in life was also about embracing the challenges and struggles that come our way. When we face our fears and overcome obstacles, we feel a sense of accomplishment and growth.
Lastly, Nietzsche believed that finding meaning in life required us to look inward. Through self-reflection and introspection, we can gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and our place in the world. So, what can we learn from Nietzsche? Finding meaning in life is not a one-size-fits-all solution. It requires us to pursue our passions, serve others, face our challenges, and look inward. By doing so, we can create a life that is fulfilling and purposeful. Don't forget to share the video and join the conversation about finding meaning in life. Introduction Friedrich Nietzsche is one of the most influential philosophers of the modern era, known for his critiques of traditional morality and his exploration of the human condition. However, his ideas have also been associated with nihilism, the rejection of traditional values, and even fascism. In this video, we will explore the dark side of Nietzsche's philosophy and its implications. Nihilism One of the most concerning aspects of Nietzsche's philosophy is the potential for nihilism. Nietzsche famously declared that, God is dead, meaning that traditional beliefs and values no longer hold the same weight in modern society. While this statement was intended as a critique of the modern world, it has also been interpreted as a call to reject all values and beliefs altogether, leading to a sense of meaninglessness and despair. This potential for nihilism is particularly concerning given Nietzsche's rejection of traditional morality. According to Nietzsche, morality is a set of constraints imposed by society, and the individual should strive to overcome these constraints and create their own values. However, without a clear framework for morality, individuals may feel lost or directionless, leading to a sense of nihilism. Misinterpretation and Misuse Another issue with Nietzsche's philosophy is that it has been misinterpreted and misused by individuals and groups throughout history. Perhaps the most concerning example is the association of Nietzsche's ideas with fascism and other far-right ideologies. While Nietzsche himself was critical of nationalism and the state, his ideas about the will to power and the superiority of the individual have been co-opted by fascist movements. The Nazis, for example, often cited Nietzsche as an inspiration, despite Nietzsche's own criticisms of anti-Semitism and nationalism. In addition, Nietzsche's rejection of traditional morality has also been misused by some individuals to justify immoral or harmful behavior. Some have argued that Nietzsche's philosophy justifies acts of violence or exploitation in the pursuit of individual power and achievement. Conclusion While Nietzsche's philosophy is undoubtedly complex and thought-provoking, it is important to recognize its potential for negative implications. Nihilism, the rejection of traditional values, and the misuse of Nietzsche's ideas are all concerning aspects of his philosophy. As we continue to explore Nietzsche's ideas and their implications, it is important to approach them with caution and critical thinking, and to recognize the potential for harm that they can cause if misunderstood or misused. Friedrich Nietzsche is one of the most influential philosophers in history, known for his critiques of religion, morality, and traditional values. However, his ideas are often misunderstood and misinterpreted. In this video, we will take a comprehensive look at Nietzsche's life and ideas, exploring five different topics related to his philosophy. Nietzsche and the Übermensch, Fact or Fiction? We will examine Nietzsche's concept of the Übermensch, discussing its relevance to modern society and whether it is a realistic or desirable goal for individuals and society. The surprising relevance of Nietzsche in today's world we will discuss how Nietzsche's ideas are still relevant and applicable in our modern world, exploring how his critiques of religion, morality, and traditional values relate to current social and political issues. Nietzsche and the rise of nihilism in modern society we will examine how Nietzsche's ideas have contributed to the rise of nihilism in modern society, discussing how his critiques of traditional values and morality have influenced postmodern thought and exploring the implications of a nihilistic worldview. Exploring Nietzsche's critique of Christianity we will delve into Nietzsche's critique of Christianity and its relation to his broader philosophical ideas. We will examine his criticisms of Christian morality and explore how his ideas about the will to power and the death of God influenced his rejection of religion. The untold story of Nietzsche's personal life and struggles we will take a closer look at some of the personal struggles and challenges that Nietzsche faced throughout his life, such as his mental and physical health issues. We will also discuss how these experiences may have influenced his philosophical ideas and writing. Nietzsche and the Übermensch, Fact or Fiction? Friedrich Nietzsche, one of the most influential philosophers of the modern era, 
introduced the concept of the Ubermensch or Superman. This idea has captured the imagination of many and been interpreted in a variety of ways. But what does it really mean? Is it a realistic or desirable goal for individuals and society? In this video, we will explore Nietzsche's concept of the Ubermensch and its relevance to modern society. Defining the Ubermensch According to Nietzsche, the Ubermensch represents the ultimate goal of human evolution, a superior being who has overcome traditional values and morality to create their own way of life. The Ubermensch is free from the constraints of society and conventional thinking, and has the power to shape their own destiny. Interpretations and Misinterpretations The concept of the Ubermensch has been interpreted in many ways, from a call for individualism and personal excellence to a justification for tyranny and domination. Some have even associated the idea with Nazi ideology, despite Nietzsche's own criticisms of anti-Semitism and nationalism. Realistic or desirable goal? But is the concept of the Ubermensch a realistic or desirable goal for individuals and society? Critics argue that it is a romanticized ideal that ignores the realities of human limitations and the importance of social connection. They suggest that the pursuit of the Ubermensch can lead to nihilism and a rejection of traditional values, potentially leading to chaos and harm. While the concept of the Ubermensch may be inspiring and thought-provoking, it is important to approach it with caution and critical thinking. The idea has been both misinterpreted and idealized, potentially leading to harmful consequences. As we continue to explore Nietzsche's ideas and their implications, it is important to recognize the potential for both positive and negative outcomes, and to consider the importance of social connection and community in achieving our goals as individuals and as a society. The Surprising Relevance of Nietzsche in Today's World In our rapidly changing world, it's easy to dismiss the ideas of philosophers of the past as outdated and irrelevant. But one philosopher whose ideas still resonate today is Friedrich Nietzsche. Nietzsche's critiques of religion, morality, and traditional values are still relevant in our modern world. In a time of political upheaval and social unrest, Nietzsche's ideas about the nature of power and the will to power are especially important. Nietzsche's concept of the Ubermensch, or Superman, may seem like a far-off and unrealistic ideal. But his ideas about individualism and self-overcoming can be applied to personal growth and development. In a world that can often feel overwhelming and chaotic, Nietzsche's ideas about self-improvement and self-mastery are more relevant than ever. Nietzsche's ideas may have been radical for his time, but they continue to resonate with us today. By embracing the power within ourselves and overcoming the limitations of traditional values and beliefs, we can achieve true personal freedom. Nietzsche and the Rise of Nihilism in Modern Society Friedrich Nietzsche was a German philosopher who lived in the 19th century. His ideas have been influential in many areas, including philosophy, literature, and art. One of the key themes in Nietzsche's work is the critique of traditional values and morality, which has led some to argue that his ideas have contributed to the rise of nihilism in modern society. In this video, We'll explore how Nietzsche's ideas have influenced postmodern thought and discuss the implications of a nihilistic worldview. Nietzsche's critiques of traditional values and morality were aimed at what he saw as the suppression of individuality and creativity. He argued that the traditional moral codes that had been handed down through the ages were no longer relevant in the modern world. Nietzsche saw the rise of science and technology as evidence that traditional religious and moral beliefs were no longer necessary to understand the world. This critique of traditional values and morality has been influential in postmodern thought. Postmodernism is a philosophical movement that questions the ability of reason and science to provide objective truth. Postmodernists argue that all knowledge is relative and that there is no objective reality. Nietzsche's critiques of traditional values and morality have been used to support this view. The implications of a nihilistic worldview are profound. If there is no objective truth or morality, then all values and beliefs are relative. This can lead to a sense of meaninglessness and despair. 
Nietzsche argued that the only way to overcome nihilism was to embrace it and create our own values. This is the idea of the Superman, or Ubermensch, that Nietzsche wrote about. The Ubermensch is the individual who creates their own values and lives a life of creativity and self-overcoming. Nietzsche's ideas have been influential in many areas, including postmodern thought. His critiques of traditional values and morality have contributed to the rise of nihilism in modern society. The implications of a nihilistic worldview are profound, but Nietzsche believed that we could overcome nihilism by embracing it and creating our own values. The idea of the Ubermensch is one way to do this. While Nietzsche's ideas may be controversial, they are still relevant in today's world and continue to inspire new ways of thinking about our place in the world. Exploring Nietzsche's critique of Christianity, Friedrich Nietzsche is known for his controversial critiques of traditional values, and one of his main targets was Christianity. In this part, we'll explore Nietzsche's critique of Christianity and how it fits into his broader philosophical ideas. Nietzsche saw Christianity as a slave morality that oppressed the individual's will to power. He believed that Christian values, such as humility, meekness, and compassion, were weaknesses that hindered individual growth and self-realization. Nietzsche argued that Christianity's emphasis on the afterlife devalued this life and made people passive, complacent, and resentful. He famously proclaimed that, God is dead, and saw the decline of religion as an opportunity for the emergence of new values and the affirmation of life. Nietzsche also criticized Christian morality for its hostility towards the body and sexuality, which he regarded as natural and healthy. He believed that Christianity's rejection of earthly pleasures and its obsession with sin and guilt created a culture of repression and neurosis. Nietzsche saw the human body as a site of creativity, vitality, and sensuality, and believed that the suppression of these instincts led to alienation and sickness. Nietzsche's critique of Christianity was not just an attack on a particular religion, but a broader challenge to traditional values and beliefs. His ideas about the will to power, the death of God, and the affirmation of life continue to inspire and provoke philosophical debate. Whether you agree or disagree with Nietzsche's critique of Christianity, it raises important questions about the role of religion in modern society and the relationship between morality and individualism. The untold story of Nietzsche's personal life and struggles. Friedrich Nietzsche is known for his groundbreaking philosophical ideas, but few people are aware of the personal struggles and challenges that he faced throughout his life. In this part, we will explore the untold story of Nietzsche's personal life and how it may have influenced his philosophical ideas and writing. Nietzsche suffered from numerous health issues throughout his life, including severe migraines, vision problems, and digestive problems. He also experienced a mental breakdown in his late 30s, which left him unable to work and forced him to retire from his academic career. These struggles are often overlooked in discussions of Nietzsche's ideas, but they had a significant impact on his life and work. Despite these challenges, Nietzsche remained committed to his writing and continued to explore new ideas. His experiences with illness and mental health may have even influenced his philosophy, as he often wrote about the importance of overcoming limitations and embracing life in all its complexity. By exploring Nietzsche's personal struggles and challenges, we can gain a deeper understanding of the man behind the philosophy. His experiences with illness and mental health remind us that even the most brilliant minds are not immune to the difficulties of life. Yet despite these challenges, Nietzsche's ideas continue to inspire and challenge us today, reminding us to embrace life's complexities and strive for personal growth and self-overcoming. So, there you have it, a five-part series on the life, ideas, and impact of Friedrich Nietzsche. From his concept of the Ubermensch to his critique of Christianity, and from his ideas about self-overcoming to his personal struggles, Nietzsche's legacy continues to resonate in our modern world. Whether you agree or disagree with his ideas, there's no denying his lasting influence on philosophy, literature, and culture. Join us as we delve deeper into the mind of one of the most fascinating thinkers of the modern era. Welcome back to our five-part series exploring the ideas and philosophy of Friedrich Nietzsche. Over the past few days, We've delved deep into Nietzsche's most important concepts and explored how they relate to modern life. From his critiques of morality and religion to his emphasis on individualism and the pursuit of meaning, Nietzsche's ideas continue to resonate with us today. But what is the ultimate legacy of Nietzsche, and what can we learn from his work as we navigate the challenges of the 21st century? 
why Nietzsche matters more than ever in the 21st century. Why does Nietzsche matter in the 21st century? It's a question that many people are asking. After all, Nietzsche's ideas were developed over a century ago in a very different world. But the truth is, Nietzsche's philosophy is more relevant now than ever before. In our modern world, we are bombarded with information and distractions. We are constantly connected, but often feel disconnected from our own lives. Many of us feel trapped in unfulfilling jobs and lifestyles that leave us feeling empty and unfulfilled. We are searching for meaning and purpose, but don't know where to find it. Nietzsche's philosophy offers us a way out of this existential crisis. He encourages us to question our assumptions, challenge our beliefs, and create our own values. Nietzsche believed that we can find meaning in life by embracing our passions, facing our fears, and living authentically. Nietzsche believed that creativity and innovation were essential for human flourishing. He believed that we should strive to create something new and unique in the world. Nietzsche also believed in the importance of self-reflection and introspection. He believed that by looking inward, we can gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. So, why does Nietzsche matter in the 21st century? Because his philosophy offers us a way to find meaning and purpose in our lives in a world that can often feel overwhelming and confusing. By exploring Nietzsche's ideas, we can gain a new perspective on our lives and our place in the world. So why not pick up a book by Nietzsche and see what he has to offer? Nietzsche and the Pursuit of Freedom in a Post-Truth World In a world where truth is often contested, how can we pursue freedom? Friedrich Nietzsche, the German philosopher, had some profound insights into this question. Nietzsche was deeply skeptical of the idea of objective truth. He believed that truth was always situated in a particular perspective, and that different perspectives could lead to radically different truths. There are no facts, only interpretations. This perspective, known as perspectivism, has powerful implications for how we understand truth and freedom. Nietzsche believed that we are always interpreting the world around us, and that our interpretations shape our reality. In a post-truth world, where information is constantly being manipulated and distorted, it's more important than ever to be aware of our own perspectives and biases. Nietzsche believed that the pursuit of freedom requires us to challenge dominant narratives and power structures. He believed that the will to power, or the desire to exert our own will over the world around us, was a fundamental part of human nature. But Nietzsche also recognized the dangers of the will to power. He believed that it could lead to domination and oppression if not tempered by self-reflection and empathy for others. In order to pursue freedom in a post-truth world, Nietzsche believed that we must cultivate a deep sense of self-awareness and mindfulness. By recognizing our own perspectives and biases, we can better navigate the complex web of truth and power in our world. So, why does Nietzsche matter more than ever in the 21st century? Because his ideas about truth, perspectivism, and the will to power can help us navigate the complex and contested world of truth and freedom in which we live.
The Controversial Legacy of Nietzsche, Love Him or Hate Him Friedrich Nietzsche was one of the most controversial philosophers of his time. His ideas about religion, morality, and the will to power continue to be debated and discussed to this day. But why is Nietzsche's legacy so polarizing? Why do some people love him, while others hate him? One reason for this is the criticisms of Nietzsche's work. Some have accused him of promoting nihilism, relativism, and even fascism. However, others see Nietzsche's ideas as empowering and liberating. They see his critiques of traditional morality and religion as necessary for personal and societal growth. Nietzsche's emphasis on the will to power and the pursuit of excellence has inspired many people to strive for greatness and achieve their full potential. Despite the controversies surrounding Nietzsche's legacy, one thing is clear. His ideas continue to resonate with people today. Whether you love him or hate him, Nietzsche's impact on philosophy and society cannot be ignored. So, what do you think? Is Nietzsche a brilliant philosopher or a dangerous nihilist? Join the conversation and let us know your thoughts. The Ultimate Guide to Understanding Nietzsche's Key Concepts Friedrich Nietzsche is one of the most important and influential philosophers of the modern era. His ideas about the nature of reality, morality, and human nature continue to shape our understanding of the world today. But to truly understand Nietzsche's work, it's essential to grasp some of his key concepts. One of Nietzsche's central concepts is the will to power. This refers to the drive that motivates all living things to pursue their own interests and strive for dominance. Nietzsche believed that the will to power was the fundamental force behind all human action, and that the pursuit of power was the key to living a fulfilling life. Another important concept in Nietzsche's work is the death of God. He believed that the decline of traditional religious beliefs had profound implications for our understanding of the world and our place in it. For Nietzsche, the death of God opened up new possibilities for human freedom and creativity, but it also meant that we must take responsibility for creating our own values and meaning in life. Finally, Nietzsche's concept of the eternal recurrence is a thought experiment that asks us to imagine living our lives over and over again for all eternity. Nietzsche believed that the eternal recurrence was a test of our commitment to living our lives to the fullest, and that embracing this idea could lead to a sense of joy and affirmation in the face of life's challenges. These are just a few of the key concepts in Nietzsche's work, but by understanding them, we can gain a deeper appreciation for his philosophy and its relevance to our lives today. Nietzsche and the Power of Individualism, Lessons for the Modern Age In a world where conformity and groupthink often prevail, Friedrich Nietzsche's philosophy of individualism offers a refreshing alternative.
Nietzsche believed that the key to personal growth and development was to embrace our individuality fully. He believed that the pursuit of individualism required us to overcome societal norms and expectations and discover our true selves. Nietzsche's emphasis on self-overcoming and the will to power can be used to pursue personal growth and development in the modern age. He believed that by overcoming our fears and challenges, we could unleash our full potential and become the best version of ourselves. Nietzsche's philosophy of individualism is not without its criticisms, but it remains a powerful tool for pursuing personal growth and development in the modern age. So, what can we learn from Nietzsche? Embracing our individuality fully, overcoming our fears and challenges, and pursuing personal growth and development can lead to a fulfilling and meaningful life. Don't forget to share the video and join the conversation about individualism and personal growth. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the mind of one of the most influential thinkers of the modern age. Nietzsche's ideas challenge us to think differently about our lives and the world around us, and his legacy continues to inspire and provoke us. As we move forward into the future, let us take the lessons of Nietzsche's philosophy with us, and use them to create a better world for ourselves and those around us. We all want to be happy, right? It's what we strive for, what we dream of, what we spend our entire lives pursuing. But what about money? Is it really the root of all evil, or can it actually buy us happiness? We're constantly bombarded with messages that tell us money can buy happiness. And sure, buying nice things and going on extravagant trips can bring us temporary pleasure. But is it really sustainable happiness, or just fleeting moments of joy? The truth is, money alone can't bring us true happiness. Studies have shown that once we have our basic needs met, like food, shelter, and security, more money doesn't necessarily mean more happiness. What does bring us happiness, then? It's the relationships we have with others, the experiences we share, and the sense of purpose we find in our lives. It's about feeling fulfilled, not just satisfied. So, should we abandon our pursuit of money altogether? Of course not. We need money to survive and thrive in our society. But instead of chasing it for its own sake, let's focus on using it as a tool to create the kind of life we want for ourselves and our loved ones. Remember, happiness is not something that can be bought or achieved by external means. It's something that comes from within, and it's up to each of us to cultivate it in our own lives. So, the next time you're faced with a choice between pursuing money or happiness, choose happiness. Because in the end, it's the only thing that truly matters. Share the video and join the conversation about the pursuit of money versus happiness. Are you pursuing money or happiness? What if we told you that money alone can't bring you true happiness? In this video, we explore the surprising truth about the pursuit of money versus happiness. Join the conversation and discover what really matters in life. The importance of self-discovery and personal growth in the 21st century. Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm excited to talk to you today about something that's become increasingly important in the 21st century, self-discovery and personal growth. 
The world has changed rapidly in the 21st century, bringing with it new challenges and opportunities. The world we live in today, is changing faster than ever before. With new technology, global crises, and increased competition, it's easy to feel overwhelmed and lost. That's why it's important to take the time to understand who you are and what you want out of life. By taking the time to understand who you are, what you stand for, and what you want out of life, you can find your authentic self and live a fulfilling life. By embracing your strengths, weaknesses, and unique qualities, you can find your authentic self and live a fulfilling life. It's a journey of self-discovery and growth, and it's worth taking the time to explore. The benefits of becoming your authentic self are many. The benefits of becoming your authentic self are numerous. You'll have a greater sense of purpose, a stronger sense of self-confidence, and a greater sense of fulfillment. You'll be better equipped to navigate the challenges and opportunities of the 21st century, and to make meaningful contributions to the world around you. In this book, I will explore the importance of self-discovery and personal growth in the 21st century. I'll provide you with the tools and strategies you need to embrace your authenticity, find your purpose, and live a fulfilling life. I hope that this book will inspire you to embark on your own journey of self-discovery and personal growth. So if you're ready to find your authentic self and live a fulfilling life, be sure to stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Understanding your values, beliefs, and passion. Have you ever stopped to consider what really drives you? What gives you a sense of purpose and direction in life? The answer lies in understanding your values, beliefs, and passions. Let's start with values. They are the guiding principles and beliefs that you hold dear. They shape your decisions and actions. Your personal values are shaped by your family background, personal experiences, and cultural influences. Cultural and societal values are shared beliefs and practices that guide the behavior of groups and communities. Identifying and understanding your values is essential for setting priorities, making decisions, and living an authentic life. Now, Let's talk about passion. It's a feeling of enthusiasm and excitement that drives you towards your goals. Unlike interests and hobbies, passions are deep-seated and provide a sense of purpose and meaning. Finding and developing a passion requires exploring new experiences, reflecting on past ones, and seeking feedback from others. Pursuing your passions leads to a greater sense of fulfillment, motivation, and joy. Understanding your values, beliefs, and passions is crucial for living a fulfilling and meaningful life. Take some time to reflect on what is important to you, and pursue your passions with enthusiasm and purpose. End with a call to action to share the video with friends and to leave a comment with your thoughts on values, beliefs, and passions. The Power of Positive Thinking, How to Transform Your Life with a Simple Mindset Shift Hey everyone! 
Today I want to talk about something that can change your life in a big way, and it's something that you can start doing right now. It's the power of positive thinking. You've probably heard that attitude is everything, and it's true. Your thoughts have a huge impact on your life, and by shifting your mindset to a more positive one, you can transform your life in ways you never thought possible. Think about it. When you're in a positive state of mind, you feel more confident, motivated, and optimistic. You're able to tackle challenges with ease, and you're more likely to see opportunities where others see obstacles. It's a simple change that can make a big difference in your life. So how do you start thinking more positively? It's easier than you might think. Here are a few tips. Practice gratitude. Start each day by focusing on the things you're thankful for, no matter how small they might seem. Surround yourself with positive people. Being around others who have a positive outlook will help you see the world in a more positive light. Focus on the present. When you're caught up in worries about the future or regrets about the past, it's easy to get bogged down in negativity. Instead, focus on what you can do right now to make your life better. Reframe your thoughts. When you catch yourself thinking negative thoughts, try to reframe them in a positive light. For example, instead of thinking I'll never be able to do this, try thinking I might not be able to do this right now, but with practice I can improve. So there you have it, folks. Give these tips a try, and see how they can change your life for the better. Let's spread the power of positive thinking, and leave a comment with your own tips for staying positive. Transform your life with positive thinking. Subscribe for more positive tips every week. Mindful Matters, a guide to mental health and self-care. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about an important topic, mental health and self-care. With so many people experiencing stress and anxiety in today's world, it's more important than ever to take care of our mental and emotional well-being. Segment 1, Understanding Mental Health, Mental health is a crucial aspect of our overall health and well-being. It affects how we think, feel, and behave, and it has a direct impact on our quality of life. If you're feeling overwhelmed, anxious, or stressed, it's important to understand that these feelings are normal and that there are ways to manage them. Segment 2, The Importance of Self-Care Self-care is the practice of taking care of yourself, both physically and mentally. This can include activities such as exercising, eating well, getting enough sleep, and engaging in activities that bring you joy and relaxation. By taking care of yourself, you can help reduce stress, improve your mood, and boost your overall well-being. Segment 3, Simple Self-Care Tips Here are some simple self-care tips that you can try to improve your mental health. Take a relaxing bath or shower. Go for a walk in nature. Practice mindfulness meditation. Write down your thoughts and feelings in a journal. Connect with loved ones through phone calls or video chats. Indulge in your favorite hobby. So, there you have it, just a few simple tips for taking care of your mental health and practicing self-care. Remember, taking care of yourself is a priority, and it's never too late to start. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Protecting yourself from energy vampires. Hey everyone. Today, we're going to talk about something that affects us all, energy vampires. You know the type, they drain your energy, leave you feeling depleted and exhausted, and can seriously impact your mental and physical well-being. So, 
Why should we be careful of them and what can we do to protect ourselves? Let's find out. Segment 1, Understanding Energy Vampires. Energy vampires are people who suck the life out of you with their negativity, drama, and toxic behavior. They may be co-workers, friends, family members, or even acquaintances. The key is that they leave you feeling drained, stressed, and exhausted after spending time with them. Segment 2, Identifying Energy Vampires. So, how do we identify energy vampires? There are some key signs to look for. They may be complainers, always negative, engage in drama or gossip, or are emotionally needy. They may also be controlling, manipulative, or use guilt-tripping tactics to get what they want. Segment 3, Protecting Yourself from Energy Vampires Now that we know what to look for, it's important to protect ourselves from energy vampires. This means setting boundaries, avoiding them as much as possible, and not engaging in their negativity or drama. You can also practice self-care and prioritize your own well-being to help rebuild your energy after being around them. So, there you have it, a quick rundown on energy vampires and why we should be careful of them. Remember, it's important to protect your mental and physical well-being, so take the steps necessary to protect yourself from these draining individuals. And, as always, don't forget to take care of yourself. I'll see you in the next video. Transform your diet in minutes, quick and easy healthy eating tips for a busy lifestyle. Hey there! Today we're talking about something that's crucial to our overall well-being, healthy eating. With busy schedules and unhealthy food options everywhere, it can be tough to stick to a nutritious diet. But, don't worry. I've got some simple tips that will make it easier for you. Swapping out unhealthy snacks for healthier options is a great place to start. Instead of reaching for a bag of chips, try munching on some roasted chickpeas or veggies and hummus. Craving something sweet? Opt for fresh fruit or a handful of dried fruit instead of candy or cookies. Making healthy meals at home can seem like a daunting task, but it doesn't have to be. With a little planning and preparation, you can whip up delicious, nutritious meals in no time. Try experimenting with different spices and herbs to add flavor without adding calories. And don't be afraid to get creative with your ingredients. Of course, Healthy eating goes hand in hand with exercise. Try incorporating some physical activity into your daily routine, whether it's a full workout or just a walk around the block. The key is to find something you enjoy and stick with it. So there you have it, some simple swaps and tips for a healthier, more nutritious diet. Remember, taking care of your body is a journey, and it all starts with small steps. So give these healthy eating hacks a try, and let me know in the comments how they work for you. And don't forget to share your own healthy eating tips and tricks with me and the community. Let's help each other on our journey to better health and wellness. Eat healthy, live well. Subscribe for more healthy eating and fitness tips every week. Get fit with hashtag workout challenge, tips, tricks, and fun workouts for a healthy lifestyle. Hey everyone! Are you ready to get fit and healthy with me? Today, we're talking about exercise and fitness and how to stay on top of your game. Whether you're a fitness beginner or an experienced gym goer, I've got some tips and tricks to help you reach your fitness goals. First up, 
let's talk about finding the right workout for you. Whether you love running, yoga, or strength training, the key is to find a workout that you enjoy and will stick to. Try a few different workouts until you find one that feels right for you. Now let's get started with a fun workout challenge. I'll show you a series of exercises that you can do at home, no equipment necessary. Follow along with me, and let's get fit together. Jumping jacks, get your heart rate up with this classic cardio exercise. Start with 20 jumping jacks, and see if you can do more as you get stronger. Squats, tone your legs and glutes with squats. Start with 10 squats, and work your way up to 20 or more. Push-ups, build up a body strength with push-ups. Start with 5 push-ups, and see if you can do more as you get stronger. Repeat for several more exercises, building to a full body workout. And that's it. I hope you had fun with this workout challenge, and I can't wait to see your progress. Remember to stay hydrated and listen to your body, and always talk to your doctor before starting a new fitness program. So now I want to hear from you. Did you try the workout challenge? Share your progress in the comments below, and don't forget to tag your friends and challenge them to join in on the fun. Let's get fit and healthy together. Join the hashtag workout challenge today. Subscribe for more fitness tips and workouts every week. Introduction Welcome to our video on the paralysis of analysis, the dangers of overthinking. In today's fast-paced world, we are often encouraged to be productive, efficient and to think critically about everything we do. While this can be useful, it is also essential to understand the dangers of overthinking. In this video, we will explore how overthinking can be paralyzing, its negative impact on our productivity, creativity, and mental health. The Perils of Overthinking Overthinking can have a significant impact on our mental and physical well-being. When we overthink, we become so caught up in our thoughts that we may experience anxiety, worry, and fear. This can lead to a sense of paralysis, where we are unable to take action or make decisions. Moreover, overthinking can have a negative impact on our productivity. When we spend too much time thinking and analyzing, we can become stuck, unable to move forward with our work. This can lead to missed deadlines and lost opportunities. Another danger of overthinking is its impact on creativity. When we overanalyze, we often lose the spontaneity and freedom required for creative thinking. We may become too rigid and structured in our thinking, leading to a lack of originality and innovation. Tips to overcome overthinking. The good news is that we can learn to manage our thoughts and reduce overthinking. Here are a few tips that can help. Be mindful. By focusing on the present moment, we can reduce our tendency to worry about the past or future. Take a break. Give yourself permission to step away from your thoughts and take a break. Go for a walk, read a book, or do something else that relaxes you. Prioritize. Identify the most important tasks that need to be done and focus on those first. Talk to someone. Sometimes, Talking to a friend or a therapist can help put things into perspective and reduce the anxiety that comes with overthinking. Conclusion. Overthinking can be a trap that leads to a sense of paralysis and inaction. It can also lead to negative impacts on our productivity, creativity, and mental health. However, with mindfulness, breaks, prioritization, and support, we can manage our thoughts and reduce overthinking. Remember, it is essential to find a balance between thinking critically and overthinking. Thank you for watching, and we hope this video has been informative and helpful. Please share it with others who may benefit from it. Welcome to our video on Beyond Autonomy, the importance of social connection. In today's world, the idea of autonomy is often celebrated as the pinnacle of human achievement, but what if we told you that this idea is flawed? What if we told you that true humanism is not just about individual autonomy, 
but also about social connection and interdependence. In this video, we will explore the importance of social connection and how it can lead to a greater sense of freedom and fulfillment. Human beings are not autonomous creatures. We are socially constituted, and our development as individuals depends on our interactions with others. From the moment we are born, we rely on others to meet our basic needs, and as we grow, we continue to need others for emotional support, guidance, and inspiration. But the importance of social connection goes beyond just our individual development. It also plays a crucial role in our ability to achieve the highest form of freedom. When we are disconnected from others, we become trapped in our own limited perspectives, prejudices, and biases. But when we engage with others, we are exposed to new ideas, experiences, and ways of thinking, which can help us break free from these limitations and expand our sense of possibility. Furthermore, social connection is not just about what we can get from others. It's also about what we can give. When we connect with others, we have the opportunity to contribute to something greater than ourselves, whether it's a community, a cause, or a shared vision. This sense of purpose and belonging can bring a deep sense of fulfillment and meaning to our lives. But despite the importance of social connection, many of us are still trapped in the illusion of individual autonomy. We think that we can achieve everything we need by ourselves, and we shy away from vulnerability, intimacy, and interdependence. This can lead to a sense of isolation, disconnection, and even despair. Conclusion In conclusion, the idea of individual autonomy is not enough. We need to recognize our interdependence as human beings and embrace the importance of social connection. When we do, we can break free from our limitations, achieve a greater sense of freedom and fulfillment, and contribute to something greater than ourselves. Thank you for watching our video on Beyond Autonomy, the importance of social connection. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content. Hello and welcome to today's video where we'll be discussing the power of ethical networking in entrepreneurship and how it can create a better world through connections. In today's fast-paced business world, networking is a critical aspect of entrepreneurship, and ethical networking is key to building sustainable connections. So, let's dive in. Part 1. What is ethical networking? First, let's define what ethical networking is. Ethical networking is the practice of building connections and relationships in a manner that is respectful, honest, and trustworthy. It involves building relationships based on mutual trust and respect, rather than just seeking to gain something for oneself. Ethical networking is not just about getting what you want, it's about building a community of like-minded individuals who share similar values and goals. Part 2. The power of ethical networking Now that we understand what ethical networking is let's explore the power it holds. Ethical networking can create a ripple effect in the business world, creating opportunities for collaboration, growth, and development. It can lead to a sense of community and support that is invaluable for entrepreneurs. Ethical networking can also lead to positive social change as like-minded individuals can come together and collaborate on projects that have a positive impact on society. Part 3. Building Ethical Networks So, how do we build ethical networks? Here are some key steps to follow. Build genuine relationships. Build relationships based on shared values and mutual interests. Get to know people as individuals rather than just potential business contacts. Communicate honestly and transparently. Be honest and transparent in your communications. Build trust by being truthful and straightforward. Be of service. Offer help and support to others without expecting anything in return. This can be a great way to build relationships and establish yourself as a trustworthy and valuable contact. Attend events and engage in online communities. Attend networking events and engage in online communities that align with your values and interests. This can be a great way to connect with like-minded individuals. Part 4. Creating a better world through ethical networking. Ethical networking is not just about building relationships and connections, but it's also about creating a positive impact on society. Ethical networking provides a platform for entrepreneurs to collaborate on projects that can contribute to the greater good. Through ethical networking, entrepreneurs can identify like-minded individuals who share a passion for social and environmental issues. By building ethical networks, entrepreneurs can leverage their collective strengths to address social and environmental issues that are otherwise difficult to tackle alone. For example, 
a group of ethical entrepreneurs could come together to develop and implement sustainable practices in their respective industries. They can also pool resources to create awareness campaigns or initiatives that promote environmental conservation or social justice. In addition, ethical networking can provide access to expertise and knowledge that can be invaluable in developing solutions to complex problems. By engaging with a diverse group of individuals, entrepreneurs can broaden their perspectives and gain insights that they may not have otherwise considered. Moreover, ethical networking can lead to the creation of sustainable solutions that have a long-lasting impact on society. For instance, entrepreneurs could collaborate on projects that address poverty, healthcare, education, and other social issues. By creating solutions that are sustainable, ethical entrepreneurs can ensure that they have a lasting impact on society, rather than just providing temporary relief. In summary, ethical networking provides a powerful platform for entrepreneurs to collaborate on projects that can create a better world for everyone. By building ethical networks, entrepreneurs can leverage their collective strengths and knowledge to create sustainable solutions to social and environmental issues. In a world where these issues are becoming increasingly important, ethical networking has the potential to be a driving force for positive change. Part 5. Real-life examples of ethical networking There are many examples of ethical networking in action. One great example is the B Corp community. B Corp are businesses that meet high standards of social and environmental performance, accountability, and transparency. The B Corp community is a network of like-minded businesses that work together to create positive social and environmental impact. By collaborating and sharing best practices, B Corp are able to create sustainable solutions to complex issues. Another example is the Social Venture Circle SVC, a network of business leaders who are committed to using business as a force for good. SVC members work together to create positive social and environmental impact, and share best practices and resources to help each other succeed. By building relationships based on trust and mutual respect, SVC members are able to collaborate on projects that have a meaningful impact on society. Part 6. Ethical networking for small businesses Ethical networking is not just for large corporations and established organizations. Small businesses can also benefit from building ethical networks. By connecting with other small businesses in their community, entrepreneurs can build a support network that can help them overcome common challenges and obstacles. They can also collaborate on projects and initiatives that have a positive impact on their local community. Part 7. The Future of Ethical Networking as we move forward in the business world, there is a growing awareness of the need to prioritize social and environmental responsibility. In response to this, ethical networking is becoming increasingly important for businesses of all sizes. By prioritizing ethical networking, businesses can foster a sense of community and support that not only benefits their own growth and development but also positively impacts society and the planet as a whole. One of the main reasons why ethical networking is so crucial in the modern business world is because consumers are becoming more conscious of the impact that businesses have on the world around them. Customers are increasingly looking for businesses that prioritize sustainability, social responsibility, and ethical practices. By building ethical networks, businesses can demonstrate their commitment to these values and gain the trust and loyalty of their customers. Moreover, ethical networking can provide businesses with access to valuable resources and knowledge that can help them make a positive impact on society and the environment. By collaborating with like-minded individuals and organizations, businesses can learn from each other and share best practices, enabling them to create more effective and sustainable solutions to complex problems. As the global community becomes increasingly connected, ethical networking is also becoming more accessible than ever before. Thanks to advances in technology, entrepreneurs and business owners can connect with like-minded individuals from all over the world, sharing ideas and collaborating on projects that have a positive impact on society and the planet. In conclusion, ethical networking is the future of business. As we continue to prioritize social and environmental responsibility, businesses that prioritize ethical networking will be better equipped to create positive change and build sustainable relationships with customers and other stakeholders. By working together and sharing resources and knowledge, businesses can make a real difference in the world, creating a better future for everyone. Thanks for watching. Get energized in just 3 minutes, quick at home exercises you need to try. Hey guys, if you're stuck at home and have just 3 minutes to spare, here are some things you can do to get moving and boost your energy.
Start with a quick set of jumping jacks to get your heart rate up and blood flowing. Follow it up with some squats to work out your legs and glutes. Next, use some push-ups to work out your upper body and core. Finish off with some stretching to prevent injury and keep your muscles limber. And that's it. 3 minutes is all it takes to get your body moving and feeling great. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out our next episode for more quick and easy things to do at home. Hey everyone, ready for another quick and energizing workout you can do at home in just 3 minutes? Start with some high knees to get your heart rate up. Next, do some jumping lunges to work your legs and get your blood pumping. Follow it up with mountain climbers to get your heart rate up even more and work your core. And that's it. Just 3 minutes of this energizing workout can leave you feeling great and ready to take on the day. Episode 3, Quick Relaxation Session Hey everyone, today we're going to take a break from the quick workouts and focus on some quick relaxation techniques you can do at home in just 3 minutes. Start by taking some deep breaths, in through your nose and out through your mouth. Focus on your breath and let your mind relax. Next, do some shoulder rolls to release tension in your upper body. Follow it up with a seated twist to stretch your back and release tension. And that's it. Just 3 minutes of these relaxation techniques can leave you feeling refreshed and ready to take on the day. Thanks for watching.